back to, I guess, your original notes here. So, I mean, you said that you think men are kind of the, on the opposite side where men are, are encouraged to be more silly deviant or just abusive towards women, and you think it creates a weird dynamic. Mm -hmm. So you're saying men are, more are kind of encouraged to be more silly deviant or just abusive towards women. Do you think men or women are actually deviant? Men or women? Yeah. I think men. Men? Yeah. You know the book Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. Yeah, who predominantly who bought those books, one of the best-selling books of all time? Women. Women? Yeah. The book where he's in a BDSM dynamic with her sure. and... I think my interpretation of that, I've never read the book. He's a sadist. I think my interpretation of that is is perhaps woman desiring a man whose sole t attention is on her and not on various other women. And not what about the porn. BDSM dynamic where he's a sadist? I don't fucking know. That's not part of it. I don't know. When you uh, when you say deviant, uh, sexually deviant, what do you mean? Just uh, partners or uh, preferences, or kind of kind of unpack that a little bit for us. I think I'm just getting at the tendency of men to um, do, objectify yeah. women and sexualize women. Do you think women sexualize women? Women yes. sexualize themselves? Yeah. So if there wasn't such a predominance of women uh, showing themselves on the internet and all of this, wouldn't the sexual deviance of men I think it's, be also sorry. down? Because they're not being flooded with imagery and um, just vulgarity from women? Yeah, I think it would be good if all women would stop doing porn, um, but I don't think that women are creating the demand for it. Mm -hmm. And I think but you they're could creating the supply, right? I'll give you. I, I want to give you an anecdote. So, I'm not inclined to choke women. The amount of women who have requested that I choke them is a lot. Mm -hmm. It occurs to me that seems like it's actually the women who are a bit more sexually deviant than men are. I've heard from many women that they have gone on dates and had sex with a man for the first time and the man puts his hand on her neck without even asking about it. Okay. I'm, just, I'm saying the opposite is true. I mean, that's been your experience. You've had women that have asked you to do that, but then there's also been plenty of men that have just gone and took sure. it upon themselves yeah, it's probably to do both. the same thing. Yeah, it's probably both. Okay. I'm not saying like the problems in society are more men, men's fault than women's fault. I'm saying I think that we are kind of put into this behavior. Where we're yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'm kind of willing to engage with this. I think where you're, I, I understand where you're going here. Uh, that men, when you say that men sexualize women more than women sexualize men, you mean that men, when they categorize women, we're looking at things like aesthetic, what, that are aesthetically pleasing to us, right? So almost every woman we meet, uh, maybe in the back of our head we think, I do her, right? <laughs> or something like that. Something like more akin to that. Is that what you're saying? Not necessarily. I mean, I think that's probably part of it. I think there are a lot of men that think that it's just completely normal to immediately start fantasizing about a woman that they find attractive rather than just having... Well, I don't, know. I don't even go. know if they're fantasizing, but maybe they just have like a knee-jerk reaction or that just pops into their head, right? Or something Yeah, that's like fine, this. but I think a lot of people think it's okay to indulge in that. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. But the thing is, is again, wouldn't this be evolutionarily advantageous for men to want to have sex with lots of women? And so they judge them based on their physical appearance and the beauty standards that they have tend to coincide with how healthy they would be for offspring, right? Sure, like I think, I, I agree that these things have a natural basis, but I think that they are like extenuated or exacerbated by society. And the yeah, but the, the question is, when you're talking about this exacerbation, it seems that the exacerbation has gone the opposite way of reproduction, which is very strange to me. Mm -hmm. So you would think that if men were out there being sexual deviants and just having sex with tons of women, there'd be a lot more kids, but there's not. Yeah? Yeah. Well, my question is, why do you think that there isn't? Because women are on birth control? Yeah. And who pushed birth control? Probably feminist. From what era? I don't know. Oh, I don't know well, that would about be the, the se that would be the sexual revolution. So the thing that you're upset about, which is 
the promiscuity issue that was brought to you by women. Brought to you by women and the sexual revolution of, hey, uh, all this chastity stuff, well, that's, that's all bad. Women should be able to bang as many dudes as they want. This is a good thing. And that now they can because of birth control, right? That was part of the freeing mechanism. So just, uh, just pointing that out. I think male promiscuity was also more accepted back in the Nick, day as well, the and just throughout history. It <laughs> no, it, well, it really wasn't. Do you want to know why, why it wasn't? Sure. Because if you don't have birth control, what is the natural outcome of sexual intercourse? Baby. Yeah, babies. And so if men weren't taking care of their babies, there was also a natural outcome as well. There was an enforcement mechanism. The woman's family would do things like you know, beat the shit out of him. Uh, they would have what were called shotgun weddings. There was all sorts of different things that would happen. But what a, there was an enforcement mechanism which basically said if you make offspring, you're going to have to take care of the offspring. You're going to have to take care of the woman that you had the offspring with. Those were natural mechanisms in society. I don't think like mistresses or brothels were entirely uncommon back then. They're not entirely uncommon now. Very not uncommon now, but... Yeah, I very do. not uncommon now. But that's my point, right, is that once you let the genie out of the bottle with a sexual revolution thing... And then you have the mechanism of birth control so that there's no effect of the sexual intercourse anymore. It's just pure pleasure and hedonism. Like, what the hell do you think is going to happen? Of course, this is exactly what's going to happen. What else could there be? I don't you can have all the fun with none of the responsibility. Like, what did you think would happen to society? <laughs> I don't think the attitudes that men are more able to step out on their wives or able to sleep around has, is something that's new. Yeah, but so what? Like, uh, I mean, monogamy is brought to you by Christianity, right? Monogamy is brought to you by religion. It's a religious enforcement mechanism, so there's no more left behind men. That I don't used think to be it's a big necessarily problem. necessarily religious enforcement mechanism. I think a lot of monogamy is, is also just evolutionarily advantageous. Well, hypergamy would be... Would be well, then, well okay, but then hypergamy. religion Sorry. would be evolutionarily advantageous. That's the point. Yeah, and it yes, is. It's I brought mean, to you it, by it religion. Been. And religion would be evolutionarily advantageous. So if we're going to deduce this, we can figure this out, right? We can say, okay, so we evolved to be religious because religious people go for monogamy. That's why you would evolve that way, right? I mean, not all religions are like that, though. Well, that's yeah, but, but, but hang on. The most predominant ones, the most predominant religions on planet Earth, in this case Christianity, enforces monogamy. Is, is it? Is, <laughs> yes. I thought Islam was the most predominant. Well, you're wrong. The, the number one is Christianity, number one. Oh, I didn't know that. Here, let's bring it back to, you said that you think men are <coughs> encouraged to be abusive towards women. What do you mean by abuse, abusive? I said, I, again, I, I think that was a poor choice of words. <clears throat> I, meant, I mean, I already defined it. It's the improper use and mistreatment of women. Okay. Um, so they're not... Encouraged to be abusive towards women? I think they're they... encouraged to use and lie and manipulate and do what they can to get sex from women. Are women encouraged to do the same in order to extract resources? Yeah, I would say so. Okay, well, I guess you, as long 